Hello everyone. In this video, I will be guiding you through the game and show how to level up in the most efficient way possible. Enjoy. The starting island has a few quests to start with. This is one of the starting quests, but I do not recommend this quest as it takes more time to complete and doesn't give much XP. Instead of that quest, take this one. All you have to do is beat 5 bandits. This is the bandit boss quest. Farm here until level 15. Take the boss quest after level 10. Tip, put most of your stats into strength gore sword. You don't need HP or stamina at a low level. Once you're level 15, it's time for the next island. You can buy stamina and HP potions here. They aren't really useful. Before you leave the island make sure to buy the same stuff as me. Once you're done with that take this quest. To spawn your boat, go in your inventory and equip it first. Then stay near water and spawn the boat. Head west for the next island. Then talk to this NPC. You will get the Sandora pose for free. Don't forget to set your spawn. Then talk to this NPC for the next quest. Farm here until level 30. Do not try this boss, because he is really hard. If you want his drop, fight him on a higher level, or get at least 3 other friends. Once you are level 30 talk to this NPC. Then head to Shell's town. When you are at Shell's talk to him. This NPC sells barrels. You can sell barrels for profit and sell. Talk to this NPC for the next quest. I only suggest you guys to farm here until level 35 to 40. Because that gives more XP, while the NPC there aren't much harder. Do not try this boss. And if you want to, you need at least a squad of 4 people. Once you're around level 35 talk to this NPC. Head southwest for Zal. Talk to this NPC. This is where you can sell your barrels for a higher price and make profit. You can only sell one at the time. You can take the quest here. Farm here until level 50 to 60. Once you're level 50 plus go to bear 80. You can buy black leg here.
Do not forget to buy the pose and set your score. Farm at bear 80 till around level 105. After level 80 you can get Yuzo Haki. But I suggest waiting until level 105. You can get Haki at Cory Island. Between south and southwest. Cory Island is west. Little bit south. From Sandora. So if you can't find it go to Sandora first. Take the hacky quest from the mountain. Do not underestimate yetis. Get help if needed, because they are hard. Come to shells and go northeast towards Sky Pier. If you are traveling with a boat just go up the water stream. Once you're level 110 follow me. This is the location you wanna farm at. Farm here until level 175. When you're level 175, follow me to get Kenhaki. I decided to farm Kenhaki at Fishman Island, because it's easier with sharks. Go between north and northwest from Skypea to Fishman Island. I'm not showing how to go through the maze, check another video for the route. This is the way I farmed Kenhaki. It took me less than 20 minutes. Go between west and southwest for Gravito Island. here until level 190. Once you're level 190, head to Fishman Island. Head east but a little bit north. Farm at Fishman Island till at least level 325. Because there is no better quest in the first sea. I usually farm at Fishman Island till level 350, because the main quests in Second Sea are bad.
head between southwest and west from Fishman Island for second sea. Once you're here by the pose and set your spawn. We need the world scroll to go to second C. Go north but a bit east from reverse mountain. Once the sea beast spawns, it means you're close. Get off your boat and head north. If you had set your spawn, just reset and talk to the monkey. Once the gates are open, go through them to enter second C. When you get to second C you can do three things in my opinion. First one is, doing the regular quests at the desert kingdom. You can find those quests in the cities. The quests are decent, but it's time consuming. Here is another quest. You need to kill the guards. This one is annoying, since the guards only spawn when you hit a civilian. I don't recommend these quests. Let's move to the next option. Second option is, doing dungeons. Dungeons are another way, to level up in second C. I prefer this method over the other one, since you also have a chance of getting good fruits. However, dungeons may be hard for some of you, and depending on how good you are it can take pretty long to finish one. But with friends it isn't that hard, just make sure to do enough damage, to get credit in the end. Let's move to the best method. Third option is, stacking crates. You may wonder, why I prefer Kraken stacking over the other two methods. It's because not only do you get a lot of XP, but you also have a chance on getting good drops and fruits. If you don't know how to stack Kraken's, make sure to watch this video. So these are the three methods to level up, to level 425. For the remaining 75 levels you can just farm it at Thriller Bark. The XP you get there isn't that bad. Follow me to get there. You wanna head northeast, east from the cafe. First thing you wanna do, is buy this lantern. Now follow me to go to the farming place. Here is where you wanna farm at. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like and leave a comment behind. Peace out.